Hi y'all, welcome back to Lives. I think it's time we play a little arc. Ooh, I went up a level. Um, what do I want to put? Yeah, I'm gonna put points into oxygen just in case I ever want to swim down for some reason. Let's see what we unlocked. Uh, plesiosaur, and then a what? Absorbent substrate. This sticky compound excels at absorbing other chemicals. Okay. I don't know what that is, but I guess I'll click on it. Uh, so I was looking at uh, some of the things that I can make, and uh, I noticed that a lot of them take a lot of oil, so I think today I am going to go out and uh, try and snag me some why are you bumping me with your nose, dude? Got to try to go out and get me some oil. Uh, so I guess everybody following this guy. Bum bum bum. Should be for you. Looks like everybody is. Yeah, I was, uh, oh, you know what? I'm not saying I will, but just in case, I would like to uh, take my cliff platform. We're going to talk about that a little bit. Uh, and I'm probably going to place this somewhere today, so... Uh, I did load up on uh, some climbing hooks. I read that's the trick. You gotta use the climbing hooks to get yourself into position, and then you can place the cliff. I mean, there's not a lot to talk about with this, but I'm very, very disappointed that I cannot use the tree, the tree uh, platform. They're just well, they're they're stupid. That's what they are. Uh, the tree platforms are not disabled on this map. Uh, however, there are no places they actually go. So... They might as well be disabled. Uh, they are required to make the cliff platform, which I do have one in my inventory here. Um, so it's not like you don't have to have the tree platform uh, schematic, and you can make it, you just can't place it because they want people, this is what I read, they want people to use the cliff schematic uh, instead of the tree platforms. Which, the cliff platforms require less material to make uh, and um, a lot of this, uh, a lot of this map is. Why are you so far behind? Better check that, guys. Let me. Uh... Yeah. Ooh, there's something wrong with that one. What's wrong with you, guy? We'll give you a little boost to your speed, see if that's helpful. I mean, it, you are carrying a lot of stuff, so... Oh, dude, look at all the metal you got on you. I should have unloaded that back at base. Look, this one's carrying my tree platform. <laughs> oh, you guys. I didn't unload you at all back of base. That's okay. We're going to go get some oil anyways. Um, but, uh, yeah, I find that ridiculous that you can make the tree platform, which I had never done before, uh, spending thousands of resources, which I have my map tweaked, so I get lots of resources when I harvest. But can you imagine playing this on regular settings and where you get, like, five wood from a tree and you have to get, like, 1,200 or 1,600 wood? Uh, I would be furious. Uh, as it is, I'm just irritated. 
Uh, because I spent like three hours getting together the resources for that and building it, and only to find out that no, you don't get to play with the wooden tree platform. I almost call it a saddle. Because uh, it's supposed to work apparently on any tree that you can't chop down. And uh, no trees in Aberration are allowed to use it because the devs have disabled it. And uh, because they want people to use the the cliff platforms. Okay, so fine. You want it disabled, then how about you actually disable it and not require it as the sub uh, the sub schematic for the cliff one because they're not even the same kind of thing, which really makes it confusing. You know, it's really it's really dark. It's nighttime. I don't normally play nighttime. Shh. <laughs> Yes, I made it daytime. I uh nighttime does nothing to me at this point. Right? I mean nothing's gonna come out and slaughter me as far as I know. I, I think there might be something out there that uh if I get in the right areas might come out, but where I'm at now there's nothing. So there's no point in even being in the nighttime as far as I know. I have played through the nighttime, so it's not like I haven't done it, just it's not good for videos, it's too dark. Uh, we, though, need to get over to this river that's full of... Whatchamacallies, uh, uh, trilobites. So that I can get, uh... I can't even remember how, where to go to do this, man. This is why I can't ever find my way back and forth, because I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, look out. This is bumper is going to bump us off. I think it's right over here, right? Everybody with me? Yep. Oh, yeah. It's... Seriously irritating to go through that hassle. I'm so disappointed. I really wanted to see one. I haven't. I've never used one because I've never built a base near the redwoods, and I just thought it would be perfect because you know I got this base over by the redwoods and and it would be spectacular. And then n no, it's just. Hey, I kind of need you guys to to eat that for me. You didn't do me a good job of eating that for me. Oh, man. I need so, so much oil. So much oil. I wonder if I could, um... What if we do this? And then I just get down on the ground here. And then that way I can tag people. You guys ate it, right? It's the whole trick is I'm going to tag these trilobites. Raptor? I'm trying to get trilobites. Where'd that trilobite go? Did you guys eat him? I mean, that was the goal, but... It's actually easier from the Iguanodon, honestly. It's easier to see. Problem is the Iguanodon is strong enough to kill them now, and so I'm not sure my dudes will uh, collect the bodies for me. So, makes it tricky. So 
Let me get that. Let me get that one, too. Good doggies. I guess they do it if they follow me, so... Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I do, uh... I do think I want to try the let's put in a let's put in a cliff base right here all right let's do that let's see so I've got my I've got my oh I didn't bring any ladders though I've got my uh, hooks here is probably good, right? And so then I will place my platform. All right. There we go. I've got one platform. Uh, man, if I had one of my rope ladders, I could probably put my rope ladder in right here to be able to climb up to this. I'll have to bring a rope ladder down. Just give me a little possible base here. I don't need a base here. I just wanted to see what this thing looked like. It's pretty cool. Really difficult to place. Uh, I... I don't like that. I don't know why craft or uh, placing items in this game has to be so difficult. Although there's a lot of this game that I don't understand why it has to be so difficult, to be honest. But uh, it's like when you build a base and the the ground isn't flat, right? Because almost nowhere is the ground flat in this game, and then you can't place the platforms where you want them because. Oh, the ground's uneven. So why doesn't it just grow little posts out of it then? Uh, I mean, I'm not asking to run it 100 feet in the air or something, but I literally can't place this right next to the one I just put down, even though it looks the same. I don't know. Anyways, uh, I am hoping to uh, get a ton of oil and it will take a ton of oil uh, let's uh, we can look at that here uh, I was looking at the forge I'd like to make the forge the industrial forge it takes 400 oil uh, I also would like to make the chemical I've never had either of these the chemistry bench uh, oh, well, that doesn't take oil. That just takes spark powder and metal ingots and electronics and stuff. Um, cementing paste. That one's a little more doable than the, uh, a little more doable than the, uh, the forge, but I think the forge is going to be more useful. Although it takes, it takes 1,200 ingots, I think it said. Let's look at that again. Forge. This is as far as I've ever been, honestly. Uh, in the technology tree. Uh, no, 250 metal ingots. I have to collect five. That's actually not too bad with my new, uh, base down by the, the, down below, as I call it. Dumb dogs. I was really surprised that Dodicarus, uh, was so capable of following me where I went, and the Ravagers are just stupid animals that can't get around the rock. I mean, look at it. I'm coming! I'm coming! There's this big rock. I'm just gonna run against the very, very slight edge of this rock. Dodicarus, it would have backed up, gone around a different way. Uh, dog, though. Dog's dumb. Oh, look, I had four. Now I've got two. Because we're not smart enough to run around things. There's a reason I just found that level 26 one just standing out here doing nothing. Yep. 
Yeah, you guys are going to have to keep doing it because I've never found a source of oil besides these guys. Although I also need the pearls, so it's it's a win-win situation as long as uh, the supply of trilobites stays up. Back on the island, um, there was a spot that I would harvest trilobites. Oh, this one's dead and you guys didn't harvest him? Tisk tisk. How are we doing on the oil, by the way? Uh, let's see. You got 13. Uh, you've got 15. Dude, your tail is right in my way. You've got 20, so that's, uh, uh, 13, 15, that's, uh, 38, 58, uh, ooh, 34, nice. Uh... 92. Eh, not bad. I got around a fourth of what I need. It's not too bad for my little bit of wandering back and forth here. Uh, obviously, I'm going to have to go on some metal runs uh, to uh, to get the metal for this forge. The chemistry station is just going to take time because it requires a lot of cementing paste that I do not have. Because I spent 600 on my wooden platform that I'm not allowed to use, but I'm allowed to make. Uh, yes, I'm going to remain irritated about that for a little while. Because it took so much resources in a game where gathering resources is annoyingly difficult sometimes. And uh, cementing paste is one of those things. Like, it's great if there are beavers. Uh, but man, this is my second map now, I think, without beavers. I am not dehydrated. I also don't want to look through my thing. Somebody eat that. Nobody said anything about the coelacanths. Not one word about coelacanths. Eat this. Did you eat it? Oh, this one here. Why is no one eating this one? Dang it, Earthquake. This is new. I don't remember the Earthquakes affecting me so badly. Uh, I almost got knocked off a cliff last episode, I think, from the Earthquakes. I don't remember being this violent. Like, I know they make the screen shake, but now they make me shake. Somebody eat that. Ooh. I thought I was uh, in run mode already because he was moving so fast. You guys with me? No. Okay, what tiny rock did you get hung on now? <laughs> guys? All four of you, just sitting behind that rock. Can't figure out how to get around it. Too difficult. It is too complicated for their tiny dog brains. I'm going to keep stressing the fact that they look like a species of dog and you'd think they might be a little smarter. If 
At least a little bit smarter. Something. Oop, I'm in run mode again. There's one. Somebody get that. Oh. You're not my people. 41. That's a melee level. You guys just gonna let that dog bite you in the butt? What's going on there? I should have tried to tame those guys. <laughs> Nobody needs a crocodile. Sorry. I have zero need for a crocodile. Uh, now these guys, on the other hand, are useful as I need tons of cementing paste and polymers. Oh, but those guys on their hand down there suck. So we're going to head back. Away from the horrible things that swim in the river down here. I, uh, <laughs> I hate manta rays. I love manta rays in real life. They are one of my favorite sea creatures. And I would love to have one as a tamed creature in this game. Because of how awesome I think they are. However... In this game, they suck. Bad. They are... Okay, I wasn't sure what I was looking at there. They are way too difficult to tra tame. Uh, and, uh, and the one time I managed to get one tame after many, many deaths, it immediately died when I put a saddle on it. Even though it had food... And was in the water. And after many, many deaths, I wasn't going to do it again. So I've never tried to tame another one. Just like I will probably never build another wooden platform. Because it took way too much effort. And then I wasn't even allowed to use it. I like to get my little cliff platform up there. So, now I understand how those things work. I might use those. At a future date. They're way less effort, though. So, I don't know. It's <laughs> way less effort. Kind of the same payoff. Uh, I do need to get sap. I saw that was one of the things I'm going to need. Um, I guess you can still get sap from the trees. You just can't put a platform on them. Oh, there's a trilobite. Somebody get that trilobite for me. Well, I think I'm going to go ahead and call this episode a little early. Uh, I, uh... I'll probably run out some more time on here tonight because I actually am going to wind up with a fairly quiet evening after this, but uh, uh, let's check out how much oil we wind up with. So, 81 oil on this one. Uh, this one, 23 oil. You didn't do as good, but you did get a lot of polymers. And some black pearls. Uh, so what was that? 81, 104. Uh, ooh, nice. Uh, 175. And another 30. So 205. So halfway there. I'm ha oh, you know what? I have 17 on me, too. So, uh, 205 uh, plus 17 is uh, 222. So we're a little over halfway there. And uh, 
That will be awesome, I think. I think that forge is like super fast um super fast at making ingots and stuff. So that would be a huge benefit because as you've seen, I do have quite a bit of metal. I still need to process. But uh yeah. All right, with that, click leave a like, subscribe, share and catch the next one, and I will talk to you later. <laughs>